Hi guys, Athena here. So I was checking out our week three um, discussion where uh, you were asked to take an internet source and determine whether or not it's credible. I noticed some students seem to be having a difficult time with that. So I wanted to do kind of a sample one with you just to show you what you're looking for. Again, um, it's really important. You should go back to the lecture from this week and um, look at all the different points that our lecture indicates you, know, you need to take into consideration when judging whether or not something is credible. So what I did, I found a source here. Um, I, I had a student who was working on a, an essay about gender binary, so I figured that was a good topic. Um, it's, it's pretty uh, popular in conversation. It's an important issue. So I decided to look up a gender binary article, and I found this, Understanding Gender. Okay, And if we look here, um, it doesn't list anywhere an author, because the first thing you're going to do is probably look for an author. Okay. There's no author, so I can't gauge who uh, who wrote, wrote this because they're not listed, but uh, instead I can look at the organization that put it together. So if you do have an author in your source, I would recommend looking up that author. Sometimes they provide little bios, but if you don't know <clears throat> excuse me, who the author is, I would take that person's name and pop it into Google and see if you can find out anything about them, um, figure out where did they study, what is their background in, etc. But we don't have that. So instead, we have this gender spectrum. And I was looking at this page and I thought, you know, it would be really nice to understand this organization and what it's about. I have a sense of what it's about, but I'd really like to see its mission statement. Couldn't find it here, so I decided to click on their logo, which took me here. Okay. And on this page, it says, learn more about this important community. So I thought, oh, we'll go here next. And on this page, the Gender Spectrum Lounge, which is affiliated with the uh, blog that I was just on, I found this about. And so you can go through here, you can read what their mission is, but basically they um, are reaching out to teens and families basically to support them and, and different uh, gender identities. So, all right, I, I feel like they are probably a good authority on this because obviously that's what this community is all about. So I am putting some trust into this information based upon this organization's mission. Another thing you can do is check out the domain. So we see that we have a .org here, right? Um, we have different domains that you can encounter. You can encounter most typically a .com. If you see a .com, unfortunately, it doesn't mean anything. It's just commercial. So anyone could have posted that information. .net is essentially the same thing as a .com. It's no real strong indicator of credibility. .org has a little bit more credibility than the first two that I've mentioned, although sometimes organizations can be biased and sometimes they uh, unfairly misrepresent or present information. So, so just because it says .org, don't automatically put stock in that. It's a good indication, but I've definitely seen some organizations who achieve this domain name um, misrepresent information or put out faulty uh, logic information. So. We looked at that. Um, we also have .gov. I know we're not dealing with one of these, but if you see a .gov, of course, you can put uh, a higher level of trust in that because you know the information will be accurate. Uh, .edu, same thing. Generally, if you see .edu, you're looking at information that's been published by universities, so that's always a good sign of uh, credibility. Lastly, you could see other domains, uh, for example, country codes. If you see anything that ends in like a country code domain name, that, that really doesn't mean anything. There's no indication of credibility there, so you're going to have to use these other tools to figure out whether or not this is credible. So let me just go back and kind of continue talking about, so this is my article, Understanding Gender, what we're looking for here. So we don't have an author, so we had to default to the organization itself. We looked at their mission and have gathered that they probably are credible when it comes to this topic. Now, when I read through here, okay, it was basically providing um, introductory information and key terms for a person that would be trying to understand the spectrum of gender, gender identity. Okay, so I'm just kind of skimming through this to show you what's here. Um, another thing you might want to look for, okay, that you're looking at the information. Does the information seem credible? Does it seem um, well presented, is it organized, is it logical, yeah it's definitely organized, all of these key terms are laid out very easy, it makes it um, simple for the reader to follow, and then there's a conclusion, okay, so I like all of this, now I was hoping that perhaps there would be some um, citations, if, if a writer includes citations and we can kind of look and see where the information is coming from, that's another very strong indicator of credibility, 
Now in this case, um, these terms are somewhat common knowledge, especially in this area. So I have to imagine that this writer didn't cite them because they're just kind of understood in, in, uh, in terms of speaking of gender identity. Looking at the page, okay, the page is very well laid out. Another thing I notice about it is that there aren't advertisements, okay, no advertisements. When um, a, a website doesn't rely on ads to make revenue, that's also a good indication. A lot of times if you stumble across somebody's maybe blog post and they're trying to post something that seems academic, but you're seeing all these ads pop up and maybe the ads are for, I don't know, ridiculous things like lose weight in two days. I mean, I see a lot of those kind of like scam type ads. That's not the greatest indication of credibility. It kind of suggests who the normal audience of those pages are and it's not the audience you're looking for because if you're writing a paper, you want a higher academic type of audience. So based upon the little that I can glean from this, you know, again, I'm looking at the terms, the way this is written, there aren't grammatical mistakes. You know, if, if a piece of writing is free of uh, grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes, that means that the person who wrote this obviously cares about his or her message. I can trust it even more for that purpose. Okay, so definitely it typifies that. It seems pretty good, okay? Um, I'm, you know, kind of just skimming through. Wanted to see if there was a date that this was published. Uh, dates are also a helpful thing to look for. I don't see a date for this particular um, kind of explanation <clears throat> or introduction to the terminology. However, when I was down at the bottom here, I did see that uh, they have a copyright. It's 2015. So this obviously is being kept up to date. Somebody is looking at these pages, ensuring that their content is correct, etc. I now can say with some great level of comfort that this appears to be a credible source because I understand what the organization's mission is. The writing is presented in a clear and logical fashion. Um, you know, it's consistent with this this topic. There's no misinformation given. Um, it's it's up to date, the site is maintained, there aren't advertisements, easy to follow. It seems to have all the hallmarks that we're looking for. So this is kind of what I want you guys to be doing in your discussion responses. So instead of just saying, well, they pulled this, um, this source off of the .gov page, so it's good. No, I want you to go through all of these different things. Talk about the author, who is the author? If there's not an author, who's the organization? What's the domain name and what can the domain name tell you about this source? How is it written? Are there mistakes in it? Is there a date of publication? Are there ads? Think about all of these things when you're working. Build that into your response and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, guys, thank you so much for walking. I hope that this was helpful in um, explaining more completely how to do this assignment.